This is the new fifth station, the starting point of the Gotemba Trail. Aiming to reach the summit from here is a group of university students. This is the first time any of them have climbed Mount Fuji. Do your best and head for the top. The Gotemba Trail starts at the lowest altitude of all the routes up Mount Fuji. So the slope is gentler, but there is further to climb with few facilities. Climbers who don't have so much stamina need to be careful. This route has the fewest climbers, so you can enjoy a more peaceful climb, even on weekends or during Obon and other holidays. Once you set out from the new fifth station, until the seventh station, there are no mountain huts on the Gotemba Trail, apart from Oishi Chaya, a little farther up the mountain. It takes more than four hours to reach the seventh station, so you should use the public toilet at the trailhead before you set out. Climbers concerned about the lack of toilets may feel more at ease by bringing a portable toilet bag with them. Okay then, let's get started. Their pace is too fast. They'll get exhausted along the way. Right, Ueda-san? Here, just 10 minutes from our starting point at the new fifth station, is Oishi Chaya. There are no stores or other facilities beyond Oishi Chaya until we reach the seventh station. You can buy water and anything else you need here. The Gotemba Trail passes through sandy terrain with few trees. You have to persevere when you are aiming for the summit. After a continuous hike up the gently sloping trail, they've at last arrived at Jirobo. With nothing around to block the view, you can gaze upon the scenery spreading out before your eyes. Above Jirobo is the most difficult part of the Gotemba Trail. They continue climbing silently round monotonous switchbacks. The hut at the new 6th station is currently closed. You're hiking up a slope with no shade, so that means you need to apply sunblock, drink fluids often, and take other measures to prevent heat stroke. This is the 6th station. The slope is gradually getting steeper, so you are more aware of the climb, but the surrounding scenery is a delight to the eyes. The altitude is now more than 3,000 meters. They've arrived at their lodging for today. Warachikan at the 7.4th station. They'll rest here tonight, then aim to reach the summit tomorrow morning. <laughs> the next morning, they find they've been favored with another day of excellent weather. Yes. Let's go. Sunabashirikan is visible right above them. The expansive view below also lightens their step. The redness of the soil becomes more pronounced as they approach Akaiwa Hachigokan at the 7.9th station.
they are unconsciously stopped in their tracks by the panoramic view of Lake Yamanaka. Large boulders jut out from the sloped surface, and there are rockfall warnings, so they decide to put on their helmets. They can now see the summit. The goal lies ahead on this winding path. It's time for the final push. Be sure to watch out for falling rocks. Congratulations! That was quite an effort. Everyone seems to be pleased with their first climb up Mount Fuji. はい、ご来光。はい、頂上っていうイメージがすごいあると思うんですよ。ご来光を目がけて頂上を目指すだけではなく、はい、富士山はい、途中も the Gotemba Trail includes separate ascent and descent routes. Be sure to check the descent route. The descent from the summit to the seventh station uses the same route as the ascent. A separate descent only route starts from a point past the Hinodekan mountain hut at the 7th station. After hiking down for about 20 minutes, past Hoei Crater, we come to Osunabashiri. You should be wearing spats or gaiters at this point to keep the sand from getting into your boots or shoes. The descent is exciting, like skiing down through the sand. It often tends to get foggy around here, reducing visibility. It's easy to lose your way and get into trouble, so be extra careful when the weather turns bad. When visibility is poor, stay out of trouble by using the wooden posts and ropes to guide your descent. <laughs> 